Hey, hey, hey guys, Old Man G here, back again with another video for Red Devil Studio. And we're here to talk about Igalo signing a permanent deal with Manchester United. But before we get into the news, if you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, UnitedX, and smash that notification button for latest Manchester United news. So, this is coming by way of Sky Sports, but it's been carried by a lot of new other new kit outlets, and basically. Well, you know, Garlo set for Manchester United a loan ex extension. Um, so, as people know, Garlo is under is is under contract at Shanghai Shenhua until twenty twenty one. United have option to buy a goal on a permanent deal once the loan spell ends. So, basically, for those people who've known, Garlo's loan deal um, was due to end on May the thirty first. Um, of course, this whole epidemic um, that's been going on in the world means that these things have to be sort of negotiated and rearranged. Um, it's probably going to be extend, extend to June the 3rd given the reality of the domestic leagues etc. Um, and it just seems that while Shang shouldn't expect obviously a guard to return after his loan stay at Old Trafford, um, United have basically you know pushed on ahead as it were um, to extend this loan deal um, with hopefully the option to buy a Nigerian international on a permanent deal once his loan expires. Um, you know, Igalo scored, what is it, 40 goals, made 11 assists, 100 privileges for Watford, as we know, netted four times eight match in all competitions for United. Um, and for me, this is a good year of shrewd business. It's rumoured the fee will be somewhere about £50 million. Pounds. He's obviously 30, turning 31. And I know what you think about this, guys, but for me, I think that um, I think that we sign him. I think that we sign him, you know, I generally, generally think that um, that we sign him um, and if we, and obviously his loan deal that will be extended um, till June, um, extended again with the option to buy, I, I just think it's, it's the right way to go for such a player who we know loves and cares about the club um, and really wants to do well for Manchester United. Um, should we bring in team one? Should we bring one forward? It's a possibility, but you need to also consider the impact that might have on like the Marshalls, the Rashfords, the Greenwoods, and we also have a player that is quite happy, quite content to rotate um, with the other forwards. So we'll see what happens. But anyway, thanks again for listening, guys. If you're new to the channel, please like, share, and subscribe to Red Devil Studio. Follow us on Twitter, United X, and smash that notification button for latest Manchester United United news. Have a nice day, guys, and cheers. Thank <laughs> you.